Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Now we're in Burlington, Illinois, and I happen to see an old friend of mine, Paul. Paul, good to see you. What's your last name? Lott. Paul Lott. And Paul, we've done his car before. That was early in my YouTube career. We didn't start his car, and this is a good enough car to start. So let's take a look at it. Paul, before we go too far, where what are we looking at today? We're looking at a 1970 Pontiac Grand Prix. And with a 70 Pontiac Grand Prix, why this car out of all the cars in the world? What made you get this one? Because my brothers had them when I was a kid. Yeah. So you said, I better get one. I better get one. <laughs> got to have it. How long you had this one? I've had this car two and a half years now. And we got it right almost when you just got it. Yes, you did. You had a Challenger before that. Let's take a look at it. Let's go right to our main attraction. We've got some ATVs come past. Paul, come on back with me. OK. And that's just a great Grand Prix stance. 1970. Now tell me about the headlight configuration, some of the differences on some of the other years, because isn't there single headlights on yes. some of them? 71 and 72, they had the single headlights. Okay. 69 and 70, they had the four headlights. And that nose sticks way out. I want to just show people that, but go ahead. While you're talking, I want to show people the overall side. Come on back with me. Okay. So what, what years do your brothers have? Uh, believe it or not, they had a 71 and a 72. And I wanted a 69 or a 70 because that's, the four headlights are, I think they're very sharp. I like the four headlights as well. Although I'm not impartial to the single no. headlight. And you have yours, the thing I like about yours is it's all to stock. It's all original car. I bought it from a second owner. And as we look back here, and one of the reasons why I told Paul that we've got to see this car is we've got to obviously start it. We didn't do that last time. So let me, uh, there are some different models. What's the, what's the J for John DeLorean? John DeLorean. He was the one, you asked me this last time and I didn't know. What you know now. I know now, I learned a lot. <laughs> Let's take a look at the interior. I'm gonna have you staring here for a second. What's the uh, what's the reaction when you're driving this? What's people's reaction? I get the thumbs up, <laughs> uh, smiling at me. A lot of people um, walking up to you say, "We had Grand Prix." Oh yeah, it's it's a big deal. It it, it it brings back their memories. It does, and the car is this fabulous car to drive. It looks it it looks great, and you had the engine. Rebrought back to stock, so kind of a refresh. Yes, I did. More so than Over anything. Over the winter. Else. More so than anything else. I love the interior of the Grand Prix. Oh, there's a B right there. There we go. It's roomy enough in the back. Definitely has a sporty feel to it. We're just gonna feature all of the instrumentation. Is that 47,000 original miles? Original miles. Wow. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. One of the things I've always enjoyed about this car is that wraparound feel. And even for the passenger, they have this kind of separate section. It shows that divider there. And how this molded around the driver to give them a feeling like, in my opinion, no other car it gives you real comfortable, this is about me. So. Let's go to the, uh, let's go under the hood, shall we? Sure. Always this large fan shroud on the Grand Prix. The engine's set back a little There's bit. There's a reason for that. Yeah, tell me why. I learned at the Pontiac show, the number one plug is right by the axle. John DeLorean did that, so all the weight is distributed to the back. That that makes a lot of sense. So it makes it kind of a front engine, mid engine car. You've got the stock air conditioning on that. Let's uh, let's turn around. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, give me just a little rev in just a second. Down. That's 
sounds good. All right, let's shut her down. And we'll shut the hood. Paul, good to see you again. And uh, so glad we got to hear it this time on My Car Story. And I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy that treat. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Good to see you, Lou. Thanks.